Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making easy chicken ala king and a ninja foodie. Alright guys, I'm starting out on my ninja foodie. I have a chicken breast and a half that I cut in a half. They're pretty big, nice sized. I'm going to start by adding in about a cup of chicken broth. You could also use water, it's just I have some chicken broth I have to use up. And I'm going to add in a little bit of salt. I'm just going to put a light coating over top of the chicken. I'd say about half a teaspoon. All right, I'm going to put my pressure cooker lid on the foodie. I'm going to make sure we're set on seal. And I'm going to set this to pressure cook for 10 minutes. When my 10 minutes are up, I'll do a quick release of the pressure. All right, guys, my chicken's done. I did that quick release of the pressure. I'm going to take it out of here, and I'm going to shred it up on a plate and then return it back in here. Now, real quick, a lot of people ask me what do I prefer more, the Ninja Foodie or the Instant Pot. Now, the Instant Pot's really great. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But I prefer the Ninja Foodie more because it's an air fryer and a pressure cooker all in one. The pot's wider, so it's lower, so you have more area, surface area for sautéing stuff. And it's a non-stick pot. But don't get me wrong, the... Um, Instant Pot is a really great pressure cooker. Alright guys, I'm going to get this out, shred it up, and return it back in the pot. Alright guys, I got my chicken all shredded up and put back in here. Now I'm going to turn this on and set it on saute high. Now a little bit of my chicken, or some of my chicken was a little bit pink, but don't panic because we're not done cooking this. If it's a little pink, it will cook through by the time this is done. Now I have four 10 and a half ounce cans of cream of chicken soup. And like I said in the beginning guys, this is easy. Chicken a la king. So I'm going to go ahead and get my cream of chicken soup down in there. Okay, now that I have my four cans in of soup, I'm going to add in one of these soup cans full of milk. We're looking good, guys. Okay, now I'm going to add in some celery seed. You could also add fresh celery. If you put fresh celery, you'd add that in in the beginning when you put your chicken in raw. I'm going to go for about a half a teaspoon because celery seed goes a long way. I'm also going to add in some black pepper. I'm going to go for about a half a teaspoon of black pepper, guys. And I'm going to add in some more salt. Now, I'm not, not going to put a lot of salt in because we put salt in the beginning. The chicken broth has salt and the cream of chicken soup has salt. So I'm going for about a half a teaspoon of salt. Right, now let me grab a uh, spoon, plastic spoon so I don't scratch this. I'm going to give this a quick stir to mix it together. And try not to splatter your whole kitchen up, guys. Okay, now I have a 12 ounce bag of frozen peas and carrot. This one is steamer packs from Walmart. I put it in the microwave for about three minutes to thaw the peas and carrots and warm them up. We're going to get that down in there, guys. Now, this would also make a good filling for a chicken pot pie. That's another uh, idea for this recipe you could use it for. Now, I have, set, I have this set on saute high. I'm going to allow this to cook the amount of time it takes for my wide noodles cook, which is 8 to 10 minutes. When my noodles are done and drained, this will be done and ready to go. Alright guys, this is done and cooked for about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Alright guys, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, I'm serving this over wide egg noodles. So let me get in here and give this a try. It's really good. My peas and carrots are cooked through, they're not mushy. You get that good creamy chicken flavor from the soup. And the chicken brought those in the bottom. Let me get a little bit of chicken here. I don't want to bite that big, guys. This is hot. I'll just get some chicken. <clears throat> Chicken's nice and tender, well seasoned, cooked through. <clears throat> All right, there you have it. Easy chicken a la king in a ninja foodie. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.